good morning students now we have to see we are studying about the the structural organization of animals already we learnt about the leeches now we have to see about the rabbit the structural organization of rabbit animal see the zoological name the scientific name of rabbit is erectolagus cuniculus and it's a taxonomical studies also we should know so that uh, uh, we will study that its taxonomic position is listed out in which the phylum is chordata subphylum is vertebrata class mammalia order lagomorpha genus erectolagus species cuniculus the last two names genus and species is considered as its scientific name erectolagus cuniculus the next one habit and habitat see this rabbit animal as maximum that is living as a gentle and timid animals gentle that is a more gentle and shying animals also that is a timid animals then it is a leaping as a moving it is moving as leaping here and there in uh, grassland and in our houses and in our living places it is leaping slightly gentle leaping it is doing and it is living mostly in burrows of the uh, living place or our uh, um, small forest and or something in places then it is distributed all over the world you can see most of the places in the world then it eats a uh, grasses and vegetables vegetables like uh, uh, turnip lettuce carrot or something while we are uh, reading that uh, rabbit in our houses also we are giving uh, some um, household uh, vegetables also then it is a gregarious animal gregarious means group uh, it is moving as group it is moving in group three animals four animals it is moving as in group the next one pygmy rabbit that is a one type of rabbit that is a, that was considered as a threatened species in washington in 1999 uh, due to its habitat loss habitat means a organism a place in which the organisms are living that is is a habitat it uh, habitat uh, habitat is gradually destroying being destroyed and uh, its distribution and its population all the things are uh, gradually declined so that it is uh, becoming gradually as a threatened species then in march 2003 columbia pasin pygmy rabbit that is a rabbit that was listed under the endangered species endangered means grass gradually being destroyed extinct means uh, completely destroyed endangered means being destroyed here here and there also uh, some species are uh, living here this place and that place this country and that country for an example crocodile is a uh, endangered but dinosaur is a uh, extinct so now rabbit is also going to uh, that place of endangering okay so we should protect we can breed that the next one external morphology see its structure from the top ear eyes mouth upper arm forearm then the fingers that is a digits then in the at the tip of the digits a claws are also present claws e l a w s claws that means nail then at the back side neck trunk thighs tails are also there okay so these structures are only explained here see shape size and coloration the rabbit animal is a elongated and cylindrical in its nature Ma males and females are in same size more or less because of some animals are uh, uh, males are small females are uh, bigger like that uh, they may be but here males and females are in same size okay then uh, its length is 45 cm it is growing up to 45 cm length more or less not exact 45 cm then it weighs about 2.25 kg Uh, that may be uh, 2 to 3 kg then its color 
white to black color and sometimes uh, black and white also and in some other colors also that okay and uh, surrounding the animal fur fur means a hair like structure a dense hair like structures are only present uh, surrounding the animal that is present why fur to keep it warm it keeps the body overall body as warm for the warm nature the fur is present surrounding the body okay then body decision body uh, division not a decision division that is overall body is divided into head neck trunk and tail one by one we will see one by one we will see first one is head the overall head at the top of the animal what is present head is present okay head is a ovoid flattened and bears a truncate snout snout means that is a front side of uh, face that is a snout okay below the uh, head by using the head only it is uh, moving front side and it can see and uh, it is moving uh, forcefully at the front side okay then mouth below the head mouth is present up in the mouth uh, upper lip lower lip two type uh, two uh, uh, lips are there uh, then that is uh, above the mouth uh, two oblique openings are called that is a nostrils uh, and at the above the upper lip some uh, uh, slightly lengthy hairs spine like hairs are present that is called vibrisse vibrisse and that is also called as whiskers okay by using that only it can find out its prey or its food okay then at the top of the mouth at the top of the head uh, ear or two one pair of ears are also there external ear that is also called pinnae okay then below the mouth below the head neck is present neck uh, what is it doing it connects a head and trunk okay and it helps it also helps to turn the overall head also overall head okay then after the head overall body region that is called the trunk <clears throat> the anterior thorax overall trunk region is constituted as a two parts anterior thorax that is a chest region posterior abdomen that is a stomach region okay in females four to five teats or nipples are present in its uh, thorax region okay that is why that may be for giving uh, some milk also then two pairs of bentotactile limbs that is a type of uh, limbs means uh, hands and for us uh, hands and uh, legs are there uh, like that the animals are having limbs that is a side organs overall to the overall body side organs are that that is a limbs in which uh, two pairs are there Uh, that is a front leg and back leg as that okay and at the tip of the uh, limbs digits are also that digits be a claws are also that claws claw means that is a nail sharp nail that is also present at the tip of the digits okay then anus at the posterior end of the abdomen anus is present anus is a minute opening through which only the excretory products are coming outside here the ulva is present in female ulva means the female reproductive part in which only the egg may be produced and that will be reproduced or fused by the male reproductive part okay then in the male rabbit in the male rabbit penis is present penis is the a male reproductive part uh, from which only uh, male reproductive part uh, sperms are coming outside okay here the very very important in male reproductive region testis and scrotal sacs are testis what is uh, testis testis is a male reproductive gland which is present in the scrotal sacs we mentioned that also the testis is the male reproductive gland which is present in scrotal sac in the sac testis is a gland gland means normally gland is uh, secreting something here what is secreted what is being secreted here the male uh, reproductive sperms or the male reproductive gamete male gametes are produced uh, it is not produced as a single step or easily at first the hormones are produced by using the hormones only the gametes male gametes and female gametes are produced here the testis only produce testis are producing only the male gametes only like which like which uh, 
female in female rabbit also some glands are producing some hormones after producing the hormones only it is producing egg or female gametes both are reproducing both are fer being fertilized and then it is producing the next generation okay the next one tail after the anus at the end of the rabbit tail is present that is a short and it is uh, tail is only uh, it signals uh, in danger type uh, sometimes the rabbit is uh, uh, doing some signal uh, in the uh, by using uh, or by seeing or while seeing that uh, uh, it's a predator so that it is giving some signals by using that uh, tail only then integments <coughs> integments is the outer layer to the overall body in which some hairs hairs are present that is a furry hair is present then some claws claws means uh, the tip of the finger some nail is present at the nail is also some sharp also and the glands like a sweat glands it is it is producing sweating then sebaceous gland that is oil glands it is producing oil then uh, oil is also produced throughout the body and memory glands memory glands means uh, when it is giving the young ones it is producing the memory glands is only producing milk and giving to the young ones the milk okay memory glands is a milk producing glands sebaceous glands is a oil glands giving oil content and sweat glands is producing sweating okay then the next one coelom coelom is simply body cavity what uh, the body cavity coelom is nothing but body cavity inside the organism some body cavity is also present throughout the cavity some liquid or fluid is uh, going and coming that's simply running here uh, overall organisms is uh, divided into coelom or a coelom or uh, pseudo coelom so three types that is uh, that are divided into three types the organism that is present uh, that is having the body cavity that is called the coelomate or u coelomate okay if the organism that is not having the body cavity or coelom that is called the a coelomate but sometimes some organisms is having the coelom or body cavity but gradually that will disappear that is called the pseudo coelomate or pseudo coelom organisms okay here the rabbit is a coelomate animal or u coelomate here the body cavity or coelom that is present from the starting of the uh, from the starting stage or early stage to the end of the life of the rabbit animal okay here see here the upper chamber upper body cavity and lower body cavity two 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 coelomates are present here in the upper cavity uh, lungs and heart the important organs are present and the lower cavity digestive part and the urinogenitor that is excretory parts that are present the lungs and the uh, upper and the lower coelomes are the upper and the lower the two are divided two are separated by the diaphragm that is a separating chamber in between the two cavity okay the next one digestive system see the digestive system see the digestive system at the right top stomach is there on the esophagus stomach uh, is only stomach is only getting the food uh, and from the stomach uh, below the stomach pancreas whenever the food is not needed uh, the pancreas is and uh, in the food uh, the food is only stored in the pancreas only pancreas sac only then from the stomach from the stomach small intestine that is originated that is coming from the stomach and the small intestine is uh, tempered is going through the cecum cecum is only cecum is the cellulose or the starch food digesting organ and from the cecum large intestine is also getting the food and going to the excretory product up to excretory product okay here also at the top uh, uh, gall bladder that is also uh, getting the food from the stomach okay this is the digestive system it is only explained here alimentary canal and the associative digestive glands are here here the <coughs> digestive system is starting from the mouth at first the rabbit animal is eating the food through the mouth 
the food is going to the buccal cavity and that is going uh, in the buccal cavity that is uh, in the mouth it is being grind out and uh, it is going to pharynx pharynx that is uh, nearly throat region and uh, from the pharynx it is going to the esophagus that is a food pipe that is a minute pipe uh, going from the pharynx to stomach and uh, finally it is uh, the food is going and uh, liberated into the stomach okay the stomach is only food is uh, further being grind out by the hcl hydrochloric acid another it is going to small intestine small intestine after going or while going to the small intestine at the end cecum that is a uh, one region at the end of the small intestine in which only glucose or the starch food is only being digested then large intestine while going to large intestine it is going through the or uh, along the colon and the rectum regions also and finally it is it reaches the anus okay anus is the last uh, finally last or uh, the end product or the uh, rabbit of the rabbit through which only the excretory products are excreted okay then digestive glands in which salivary glands and gastric glands or the salivary glands like uh, parotid glands sublingual glands are present in our mouth then gastric glands means amylase or something uh, that is also uh, producing uh, some glands in stomach that is also digesting the food liver pancreas and intestinal glands also overall digestive glands all the glands are involving only to digest the food okay the next one dentition here in the rabbit like in human in the rabbit also diphyodont dont means dons are dental means a teeth here di means why it is called as a di di means two upper uh, at first at the starting or early stages milk teeth are produced after that uh, the matured or the permanent teeth are also produced after uh, shedding the uh, milk teeth the permanent teeth are produced in later stage so that it is a diphyodont the next one milk teeth and the permanent teeth that is a producer okay then hetero different types of teeth are producer so that it is a hetero hetero means different don't means teeth hetero don't means different type of teeth for an example incisor can in premolar molars are producer that is in short form incisor i can in c premolar pm molar m okay so that the dental formula for the rabbit is also given incisor in upper jaw to lower jaw one then can in upper jaw lower jaw that is uh, not present so in rabbit canin teeth is absent very very important like in wild animals rabbit is not having the canin teeth then premolar in upper jaw 3 lower jaw 2 then molar upper jaw 3 lower jaw 3 okay then diastema very very important diastema diastema that is a uh, here canin teeth is absent so that uh, from uh, between the incisor and the premolar teeth some gap is there that gap is called the diastema in the gap is only mastication and chewing process is happening see see the picture here the at the tip of the mouth incisor teeth are, teeth is there then after going some uh, some inches premolar teeth and molar teeth is there okay in between the incisor and the premolar teeth some space is there that is called the diastema okay in this place only the food is masticated and chewed okay and grind out also okay in between the upper and lower jaw to uh, many teeth are organized like this okay the next one respiratory system the respiratory like a uh, human like human like human the rabbit is also having the respiratory tract it is looking like a human lungs the respiration the respiration means the useful or wanted gas is being inhaled the unwanted gas is exhaled that is a respiration um, that is a respiration uh, that is for that lungs is the important organ being used here see the uh, see the picture at the top larynx then the wind pipe trachea then the trachea is branched into two branchi and the branchi is uh, further divided into branchioles here two lungs are rose color two lungs are there here the left anterior lobe posterior lobe so lobes are there and uh, inside the rose color lobes many alveoli that is the end of the branchioles okay like twice the picture is given here see 
oral lungs is covered by the pleura that is a uh, two layers of membrane okay by having the pleura membrane only the lungs is being kept in safe okay then the pair of lungs in thoracic cavity is present in the in our thoracic cavity one pair of lungs is there then the lungs are tarsally uh, tarsally located by the vertebral column tarsal means back side in the back side of the lungs vertebral column is there then ventrally based sternum ventral means front side front side sternum is there then laterally side uh, side of the lungs are cross uh, cross ribs are there okay the tarsal side vertebral column front side sternum and lateral are the cross many ribs okay bone ribs are lined here from left to right okay then at the lower side dome shaped diaphragm is there diaphragm is also there that is a dome shaped structure and by having the diaphragm only it is the lungs is doing a doing its mechanism of respiration okay here from the starting at first the air is going to nostril and then it is going to pharynx and from the pharynx it is going to glottis pipe and from the glottis larynx or voice box it is going in the voice box the air is vibrated and then it is giving sound it is producing sound okay then from the voice box it is going to or reached in, into a trachea or window pipe okay then it is going to epiglottis okay listen see the epiglottis that is a lid or opening uh, what is it doing what is its role epiglottis it is a, it prevents the food content uh, not to go into the window pipe okay epiglottis the important lid like or opening at the top of the lungs then <coughs> the window pipe is divided into branchioles it is branched into two so that it is called the branchioles okay branchi at first it is divided into two branchi the branchi is furtherly divided into many branches that is called the branchioles each and every branchioles is going or ends in alveoli alveoli is a small minute uh, microscopic sac like structures in which only oxygen gas is stored and taken by the body parts by the body cells and in which only unwanted co2 gas is kept or stored and going to the out of the nostrils also okay here the process overall process is uh, uh, is divided into two inspiration and expiration overall respiration is divided into two inspiration and expiration inspiration means oxygen is getting inside oxygen is inhaled inside of the rabbit okay expiration means the co2 gas is exhaled outside both the inspiration and the expiration is are constituted as overall respiration okay so that is a structural organization of rabbit as a introduction parts only here in next class you will study the circulatory region and some other systems also of the rabbit okay